otherwise it's useless and the AI always goes for it and builds it ridiculously fast. Okay, now please input engineer, not here, not here, here. I've got an unemployed citizen. That doesn't happen very often. Go university. I've got an unemployed citizen. That's actually very good. It means that all my ties are worked and there are more people that can work. I need to improve these tiles to give me uh, here for example additional production. Now once this one is done it will return to the city here. Well all the other ties will probably be markets. A lot of markets is actually the next step for the strategy because the markets will give you technological bonus. Once you've adopted the policy, I don't remember the name. The one over here, free toad. And once I've get the university up and running, I'm gonna put two scientists into it. It's kind of weird that no one has declared war on me yet. But Egypt wants to be friends. Genghis is fighting against everybody. Okay, so usually I would finish the patronage branch and go for cult cultural diplomacy. But since no one is trying to steal my allies, I don't need that. So, I'm gonna go for secularism and get the additional science bonus from specialists because I will be placing the specialists in buildings, uh, well, anytime soon because I've got the universities, workshops and other stuff. And my computer is already lagging and it's only renaissance era. Oh, I can see the spices. Genghis. But you're hostile. But if I let you with all the money, you, you will start stealing my allies. Then I will have to declare war on you, and that's too soon. Okay, Ramses is gonna get it, but next turn. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. A horseman in Green Sun's Evil. That's just nice. Okay, I can get you upgrades and go to no, university. And you go watermill, then go stable, then something else. Probably some of them that will be some culture. So that's very cool culture. Even for a technological gameplay, for the actual is very This is the loop. I'm not gonna be a loop. Oh, and there's the first one of many, many great scientists. Go fertilizer. You go print and press. I could actually at the moment great scientist for, I think, get rifing as soon as possible. I could probably do it around 1080 and attack Genghis. But I would have to switch all my production from the technological and other buildings into military and I don't want to do it because later in the game it, it would delay my victory. But if you want to go for a military victory, that actually would be a, a good place for switching of the stretch. You could easily conquer Genius at the moment, in a couple of moments. But instead I'm investing in a city so that it becomes super, hyper, mega productive. 
and that will pay off in the future. Sell you need to get my horses and you what can you get? And how much are you willing to pay for it? 160, that's the least what you can get for two luxury resources. But okay. Medina's got walls. Now you can go to university. The other two cities won't need walls. They are way too far away from the, any combat that will happen in the future. Okay, please go over there and build a lumber mill. Research agreement, sure. go now for the rifling, little bit of rifling of course, because rifling is necessary for um, dynamite, so it's a, dynamite is actually the technology I'm gonna go for, then depending how the situation look li looks like, I'm gonna either go for replaceable parts and go infantry, or attack someone with a rifleman, because let's face it, you want to see some action. Don't worry, action will be there. it also gives you great scientist points plus it's a very useful one, especially in the capital it gives quite large defense points you need to have lots of food because you will be getting to scientists in night turns please finish it faster Kevat has first in score with quite large advantage. I don't know why is that. He's only got six cities. Well, it's not I can also assure you that I'm the first one when it comes to technology at the moment. Okay, you go over there, and you go. Mm. When will I get next scientist? Mm, quite long. You can go, I think. has expired. I'm pretty sure that changes will. Well, will denounce me soon enough. Research agreement has kicked in. With who? With Ramesses. Very nice. Wanna go next research agreement? Sure you want. Good to know that you're willing to give me research agreements. It's not a written rush, but you can actually treat it like that and go golden age. I don't need a great general I can get without him, even in 
explore them. Man, these things take forever. And you go inside, you go over there, yeah. Once I've got Kremlin and Iron Mugs, I will start working on some units that I can later upgrade and kick someone's ass for a virginity because he's annoying me the most. Okay, you go to work base now, but of course the turn ended and I didn't get you an engineer. Is this lagging so much? Okay. To production, to science. Can okay, we finish one market? Go another market. How does the situation look like? And uh, do I get any unemployed citizens? Still loading. No, I don't. I've got one, two, three. I just like and upgrade it. Okay. Please keep it. Go, 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 go. First, go. This is still growing. Go. Granary. And you go military science. Go. Then go military science and then dynamite. Or maybe I'll make it dynamite as a free technology. Or oh, from the visit agreement I signed with Hyavalha. Or Hyavalha, I don't know how it's pronounced in English. Oh, a rifleman. I'm not gonna give a rifleman away. A brave one you are. But in this case, auto and turn has to go. Hello there, catapult. It's been nice meeting you. Please go, 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 water mill, and of course. Chicken. Certainly. Yes, let's work together against Chinggis. Well, hopefully, his city will survive the attack of Edinburgh. <laughs> 